Hey everyone, it's Bass Junkie transmitting from Hamburg, Germany, back with a new video. And well, back with the video I actually planned to shoot on last Thursday, but uh, as things happened, like, uh, I don't know, it's springtime, and for some reason I had the like first really, really big allergy attack of the year. So uh, my nose wasn't leaky, my nose turned into a, a fucking waterfall, so I was like, I don't know, the nose was runny all day, and I had like... I don't know, an allergic reaction that caused a fever, kind of. Not that bad uh, from my perspective because I'm used to having like allergic fever like for two to four weeks a year in a row when like um, pollen season starts and stuff. But I felt really shitty and my voice was like uh, fucked up and I sounded like weird and quirky and I wasn't like able to do anything like properly on Thursday. So I. Uh, did not film obviously a video but uh, now we go into this because you know the format you know what this is like uh, unboxing vinyl and stuff and before I will do this I'm going to tell you an anecdote from the record store today so uh, I worked like Saturday Saturday shift and stuff and uh, there was a guy coming in uh, pretty hipster looking but too old for hipster and uh, he came actually in and asked me if there was like a store or a shop or a place where he could go and acquire rights like uh, for old songs that are like 20 or 30 years old and stuff and um, well I told him no there is no place and he had to uh, negotiate every single song with he has to find the label where the song originally was released he has to find the publisher he has to negotiate all the things if he want us, really wants to acquire the rights for a song like with the publisher, with the label, with the rights holding management, with the artist and with stuff and uh, I was really really polite in a sense for, uh, for a while and then he was like yeah but if I want to do it the same what, what do you want to do when you want to re-release and no I just want to have the rights and I guess what happened was there was an article in like a German magazine for a, wh uh, a while ago I don't know when exactly, but I, I remember reading this like most recently. So I guess within the uh, within the past eight weeks or so, that like music rights and sh uh, holding the rights for music to be published and earning royalties from that is like a thing some in investors turned their heads to, and uh, uh, yeah, that some like companies like. Sh hedge funds and like with other funds and stuff like invested in these kind of pools of uh, of rights of old songs and acquired like big catalogs from artists and not only the big hits but also the the, the main other kind of catalog and stuff and um, I think he had re read about this but didn't know actually nothing about the music industry and I was like no you cannot go like to a supermarket and he was like yeah but if I want to do this what I want to do. He, he wasn't about to tell me what he was going to do exactly, but he wanted to use it as, as a jingle and uh, or songs as a jingle and cut them down. And uh, and he didn't even know how to open a business. Maybe he wasn't from Germany. He had an accent. He, he spoke pr pretty good German, but I guess he wasn't like a native German kind of, and he came from I, know, Scan I presume Scandinavia, but. Uh, he had like uh, no clue about how, how to open a business and he was like, yeah, but I, if I want to collect records, do I need a permission from some authority? And I was like, no, you can you can buy a record in the store, everything's good. And he was like coming at me like, he was not really listening to me, but coming at me with more and more questions. And he was like, am I asking too much? And I was like, at some point I was like, yes, you do, because you don't know what you're talking about and stuff. And I was really, really puzzled by that guy. And I was like, how do people think? the music industry works like like a fucking supermarket where you can go and acquire the rights and uh, why do people think there is a uh, like when there's album deals and stuff there's like multiple lawyers involved and the people sue each other all the time for like using music or pieces of music and samples and stuff so I don't know what people are thinking do they is a normal guy or girl out there that's just listening to music not aware of that this is an industry, that this is like a business model and stuff. I don't know. I'm like amused kind of, but also like puzzled. And um, I don't know what to make of this. But anyway, uh, by the way, do you, do you uh, recognize this one? Helmplatz merch, you know the score. If you have seen my last video, um, you know what this is all about or the 
the, the video before the last where I unboxed these shirts. Been rocking these all the all the time and stuff. Shout out to Linz and stuff. But now we're coming into mail. Mail from Dortmund actually. A city basically somewhere in the middle of Germany in the Ruhrpott area where a lot of where all those cities like Düsseldorf, Köln, uh, Cologne, um, Essen, all these cities are like the big uh, coal cluster in Germany where a lot of people live and uh, Mail from Dortmund usually doesn't mean Mail from Anio Kore, the band I've been knowing for ages and I've been featuring for quite a while on my website and also on my um, YouTube channel actually because they sent me stuff started out as a trip hop band like uh, back in the day I used to call them like the the German equivalent of Portishead back in the days because uh, they were like the tracks were very sparse and like the the female vocals were very intense and like emotional in a, in a good sense like uh, emotional in the sense that you could could sense that the person singing this uh, those vocals had seen a lot in life and has gone through a lot. And now they've been progressing into what I basically call desert blues, kind of. A little bit of post-rock, a little bit of like yeah, desert blues, desert folk. A mixture, not that trip hoppy anymore. And they are touring just with a small setup and stuff and uh, with guitars and uh, no drummer. And this is like uh, the evolution the band has gone through, actually. And they have sent, or they told me they have a new album on the way. And this new album seems to be in here, so I'm um, perfectly safely wrapped in bubble wrap and in a like protective foil, which I will remove because of oh, there's oh, there's a letter, there's a long letter. So uh, let me just release is on March 6th. Um, the album is called 432, and there is uh, a lot of information, so nice, like kind of. OV, OV strip thing and um, I will remove this kind of um, protective foil because I have other things and stuff and uh, also because of the glare there's also stickers so just didn't take those out for a second and uh, this is the album so Anio Kore is the name of the band if you want to look them up nice and clean sticker design I really, really like this. So um, take the name down, look them up on Bandcamp, on Facebook, wherever. Look up the videos because they are great. And here is the album. There's the band, Neo Kore Duo. 432 is the album. And uh, I'm pretty curious about this. So I will see uh, when I'm going to review this. It's released on a label called Sweepland Records, a label I'm not familiar with with because in the past Anio Kore have released their albums on their own so uh, mostly I really like this like more intimate approach of a cover and for the first time they have like a full print cover back in the days they, on, they only had or like they only had they did like special silk screen prints and stamps and stuff for their music so this is more like a, a super professional approach with going 4C and stuff and uh, also, they have a colored inlay with all the song lyrics, so this is like another step. There we go. Here is one side of the inlay. Here's the other side with all the song lyrics, and here's a lot of like information. Oh! Oh! Hee <laughs> hee, I, I see where, where this is going. So, they have like a little shout out list on there, and. Um, I don't know if you can find me, but definitely I'm on there. So I'm in their shout outs and stuff, which is pretty cool thing. I'm stoked. I'm, uh, as you can hear in my voice, I'm smiling about this. So find me in there in this like little shout out list, which is nice. That has, hasn't happened for a while. I've been, I've been on several shout out lists and albums and stuff and, uh, but this happened to me, hasn't happened to me in in quite a while actually, and here is uh, the label print with the tracklist and stuff. There is like five tracks on this side, five tracks on this side, so there's ten tracks in total. And I'm pretty curious what this sounds like. I presume there is a lot of like desert blues and rock, more like rock approach in there, like. Uh, because they've done this like in the in the, in the past 
years, so they have developed kind of. And uh, but talking shout outs, um, the last time I've been in the shout out list was on the album of uh, Lisa Morgenstern, of the uh, one of the first albums she did on her own. And now she is like touring big time, so sharing the same booking agency as FX Twin and stuff, and is on the road with all the uh, like big Scandinavian, Norwegian, Icelandic artists and stuff. So she made it big, so it is nice to be on the shout out list. And I have like big hopes for Anio Kore that they make it big or like bigger than they have uh, managed to like in the past years. So they, they build up their profile all the way. And uh, I guess it will continue to do so with this album and uh, hopefully reach a wider audience. So, but the shout out list thing is, is actually great. This makes my day. So thank you a lot. And I'm about to review this album on my website, nightstyles.de within the next days. We'll definitely read this like lovely letter with, uh, which comes with tons of love, as they told me. And uh, yeah. I'm stoked. I'm always like uh, appreciative and stuff, and I'm really glad to have been like a part of the, or like to follow the development of the band from like from the get go, more or less, from when they started out with the first album, to uh, to where they are now and stuff. And we're on the phone like not on a regular, but every now and then and stuff. And so we're like exchanging thoughts as well. And uh, so. Uh, Great to be part of the journey, kind of. So uh, I'm looking forward to this, and now I'm going to go into editing mode because there is things to do and stuff to uh, to review as well and uh, videos to edit. So I hope you like this one. If you are like a part of Anio Kore, this one goes out to you. Thank you very much and stuff. If you're not and like this video, like, subscribe, um, share share your thoughts in the comments. Uh, follow my social media things all down below. Buy stuff on Bandcamp somewhere around here. And uh, yeah, talking Bandcamp, uh, it's interesting, uh, interesting thing working in a distributor which distributes uh, one's own label because I do see a lot um, where my records are actually going. So I can have like a checklist of, uh, of, of countries stuff goes and uh, the recent edition was Poland where a few of my records or records of my label sold, even like very old stuff because we rediscovered some stock and uh, then you see stuff going to Japan, stuff going to wherever, and uh, to, 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 to the Netherlands, actually, as well, and, uh, and Italia, Italia, I guess, Italia, Italia, I guess, Italy. I'm all over the place and stuff, so it's a very interesting process to be, like, following your records from the pressing plant to the actual um, point where the distributor, at least, or... I am the one at the, at, the, at the distribution company who is like packing the parcels and shipping the records out and uh, yeah, and to see where they pop up and stuff and where to which stores they go. It's like interesting, a very interesting thing to follow, but this is just a side note. But uh, before I go into rambling, I'm off to for today and uh, as said, into editing mode. I'm going to see you in the next one. See you later.